Congratulations! You have been successfully implementing simple digital signage campaigns using NovaSign. It's time to take a step up the ladder and implement the next level of digital campaigns using NovaSign's editor. You'll be amazed how simple it is. The first step will be clicking on the newly presented option in the Creative tab, the Compose button. Here give your new slide a name, a description, then select your layout dimension, and a template. Then click Create. After selecting the desired template, the user will be able to compose their own digital channel. The first step will be setting a name and picking a background color. Now in this example we are going to add a logo. Click on the image icon and drag it onto the editor. To upload a picture, click Upload, then navigate to your picture, in this case the logo, select it, click Save. When it's done uploading, Click Close, and then OK. I'm going to delete the other image by selecting it, then hitting the Delete button. Then we can select this image and drag it and drop it anywhere we want. If we click the More tab, we can also add shapes. So I'm going to drag a shape and drag this shape all the way to the end. You can then fill the shape with a color. In this case, I'm going to fill it with white, then click Close. Then I'm going to add some simple text and drag that. And you can edit this text just like you would in Microsoft Word. You can drag the placement of the text anywhere you want. We can also add a slideshow by dragging the slideshow icon to the editor. We can adjust the size. Then we can add media by clicking on the plus. And we can add media that we have already uploaded. Select it, then click OK. The plus sign again will select the second image. And the third image. You can adjust the duration of each slide by clicking on the time frame and entering a new time. You can also display YouTube videos, dragging the icon to the editor, resizing it accordingly. You can enter in a URL and an ID. You can also adjust the frame, the positioning here, and lastly, in this example, we're going to add an RSS feed. I'm going to drag the icon to the editor, and we can resize it accordingly again. Then we can adjust the settings here on the right. Let's give it a fill. Then click Close. When you're ready, click Save. You can now preview your presentation. Click the Preview button. Good luck, and thanks for watching.